Hi guys, uh, another short video um, and the reason I'm making this video is because I'm sometimes I'm getting frustrated and I'm getting pissed on actually other shops or other people and uh, their practices where they actually take advantage of the customer um, at the point where actually I could call that like uh, actually they, they, they stealing from them but the prices people are quoted for some basic repairs uh, I'm not saying all the shops are doing that but I heard many stories and I personally know of many many incidents now this particular case it's about uh, I had a customer bringing me a Seagate external hard drive uh, where the drive will not mount and will not be seen on a Mac uh, computer uh, they what they did they tried uh, different cables uh, the cable did not make any difference they could still not access the hard drive uh, they took the drive to a different uh, computer repair shop where they've been quoted uh, some exceeding uh, 500 plus uh, and they were saying oh it's uh, they need to do a data recovery on it because the drive it's actually failed and so far and so forth they brought it in my shop uh, after five seconds looking at the drive I noticed I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see but the actual connection the USB 3 connection right there it is broken so before you take your drives anywhere examine first the cable and then examine the connection if the connection does not look good to you take it somewhere they will give you their opinion uh, if you don't believe them take it to another shop and get a second opinion and then you can decide if you want to have it fixed or if you want to shell a couple hundred dollars for something which pretty much you can do it yourself for around fifteen dollars and how you're gonna do this I'm gonna show you right now so basically uh, what we're going to do uh, I will disassemble the actual I'm sorry I just put this one so we'll disassemble this enclosure now the same procedure does not work on uh, does not work on all the hard drives but it does work on most of the Seagate drives so all you need to do you need just a pry tool a simple metal pry tool and you will want to put the pry tool right here in between the plastic uh, the plastic and the metal part. Uh, now this one it's a Seagate uh, Backup Plus portable drive, uh, two terabytes I believe so. Yeah, two terabytes. Uh, so you will put this one in, and what you do, you just lift it up. It is glued. I don't know if you can hear the actual glue moving, actually breaking up. Don't be scared. Is nothing you can do to the hard drive in terms of damaging, further damaging it. And then with a little bit of patience you just go around don't worry if you bend the metal part as you're not going to be using this drive anymore anyways I mean uh, you might be using the drive but you're not going to use the same enclosure anymore and here we go that's popped up and now we get to the inside of the drive this is your drive we're gonna pull this one in uh, we're gonna pull it out actually I'm sorry careful and uh, work as close to the table as possible have a little bit of padding underneath just in case the drive you'll drop the drive is not going to get damaged because dropping the the actual drive can damage the drive now once I have the drive you see you notice there is a little bit of a tape here now this tape the purpose of it it's actually to hold a small board to the actual disk so this is your hard drive it's a standard 2.5 inch SATA drive and it has a board on top which uh, uh, which actually uh, the purpose of it is to uh, convert the SATA connector which is something like this into this so, once we remove the tape, 
we're going to take the small board out you just pull on it and now the board is out we can trash it, we throw it in the garbage as we don't need it and now we have the drive okay now I'm gonna show you on my computer what happens when I connect this one to an adapter you can uh, you can buy yourself on Amazon or uh, any other website uh, you can try a brick and mortar store all you need is a 2.5 inch external hard drive enclosure where you will be popping this guy in and you can access your data now I'm just gonna put it in right here and I'm going to show you on my computer let's see might take a second or two uh, for it to appear now let's see let's see here right there do you guys see it? it's right here that's your drive and that pretty much if I click it is going to open up uh, another window and then you can see all the files right there which I'm not going to show you right now okay so with that said that's an easy way to actually get the data out of your potentially uh, working hard drive uh, is nothing uh, nothing bad you can do to the actual drive if you try doing that at home uh, so as you see it's a $15 repair done this is the only tool you need it's a pry tool a metal pry tool um, or you can improvise uh, I don't think that a guitar pick or any plastic tool uh, will work but you can try with that too hopefully that will work for you and hopefully this saved you some money uh, and uh, you'll come back to my channel sub subscribe and like uh, if this video helped thank you